opportunity awaits, Marcus. What would it mean to knock off the Irish this weekend? It'd mean a lot. I mean, I haven't, we played them a couple years ago, my freshman year. I didn't get to play. Uh, it'd be cool. It's going to be cool, you know, I'm playing against these guys and playing a hard, a hard game. I mean, even though you don't get to see them often, how have you guys been playing up the rivalry aspect just with how much history is there? Yeah, especially, especially like the older guys, you know, because we already know what it is and we've played against them before. We know there's a trophy involved. So, yeah, we're trying to spread around the room like you know this is bigger than just a big team you know what I mean so how big of a deal was the Indiana State game for you just to get back out there and get in the flow of you know hitting some guys I mean it meant a lot for me uh before the game it was you know emotional on me just because I know how hard I worked this whole offseason and just to get back out there finally and play good it just meant a lot to me super important well, what would it mean to get Corey Stewart back here I feel like it'll it'll mean a lot. I know I know he's been working ever since he got hurt in camp, and I'm excited to see him back out there. You know, he's a good, great player actually. So I'm excited to play with him. I saw some clips of you doing a move that I haven't really seen much. It's like a one arm kind of punch thing. I don't know what what would you call it. Maybe a club. Maybe a slap. Yeah. Either <laughs> one. Whatever you want to call Where it. Where did you I mean, get I'm that? How long have you been doing it? Maybe I just haven't seen you. Maybe a uh, maybe a year or so. Just a good, you know, for the specific play that is called for. So whenever it's called, I usually think, all right, here we go. Who, was that a coach who, you know, taught you that? Or I wouldn't say. I, I watched a lot of uh, NFL film and a lot of older guys and veteran guys just trying to see what moves they got, tricks up their sleeve, you know. What did Marcus think? Did he approve Marcus Johnson? Did he approve of your club move? Yeah, I'd say he liked it. I'd say he was cool with it. <laughs> no, I can't miss it, though. I got to hit it. I can't miss it. What's the, the biggest difference that you see in a second year Hudson Carr? Like, how is it, how is his impact different? Maybe not even just in a football way, now that he's been here a second year. He's, he's comfortable, man. I mean, Hudson's always been a pretty good player in my eyes, and I feel like now he's just more comfortable with the offense. He's taking a bigger leadership position, you know, just controlling us, you know what I mean? In a, in a way, as a, as a leader, you know what I mean? Just controlling the offense and doing what he's got to do to take over the game. Is there a difference? You maybe only speak for yourself, but like a different confidence that the offense feels knowing it's a guy that's been here as long as he has now. Like I'd say, senior. I'd say like just over the off season, just growing that confidence as, a, as an entire unit, you know, especially with Hudley and back. I mean, I feel like it's been growing over time, just getting to learn uh, the offense more and the coaching staff and the relationships, all that. So I feel like everything just gets better over time. Now you don't control the schedule, but now that you've gone through a week off, at least from playing a game. How beneficial is that going into a big time match? It was pretty smooth. Nice little week off. It was early in the season, which is pretty weird, but it was good. It was good. Yeah, nice little mental reset, physical reset. What areas is that extra preparation going to show up, uh, you know, Saturday? I'd say probably in the mental, in the mental side, just making sure everybody's on their right assignment at all times. I mean, I think it'll help physically, even though it's early on to the season. People should be feeling pretty solid. I think it'll still help. What did you do with your free Saturday? I went home, saw my family. Uh, I got to see my little brother play uh, football for the first time, so that was pretty cool. Mom make you something good? Yeah, for sure. There's What's always you? some good food down in Milwaukee. What age level was that, your brother? Was that high school? No, uh, it was brutal. I think it was like fourth through seventh grade. Oh, okay. So, I mean, the other team they were playing, the kids that were playing here in my side, so. It was a brutal that watch. Sound. It was a brutal watch. I checked those birth certificates. That's what I was saying. That's the exact thing I was saying. A lot of people have talked about Max Clare as a receiver and what he can do mismatch-wise, but as a blocker, what does he add to the line? He's grinding, man. Me and Max have, you know, done a lot of conversating and a lot of talking over the offseason just on how we want to attack things when it comes to blocking together, and I've been throwing him tips and tricks every now and then, you know. So I feel like he's been improving a lot in that way. Did he embrace that, or was that something, you know, obviously everybody wants to catch the ball and score touchdowns, but that's part of being a tight end is you've got to block. I feel like they'd embr I feel like he's embraced it just because I haven't heard anybody say anything to him, you know what I mean? So it's not like they're on him about being better in their own game. I feel like that's This is a game that will feature two mobile quarterbacks. How does that change what it looks like for you as a blocker where you don't exactly know when you're, where your quarterback's going to end up on a given play? Uh, really, for me, in most alignment, you just got to know like when to let go, especially like if he's <laughs> rolling out of the pocket, and you just got to be have that have the feel in your in your head in your body, like no, okay, it looks like he's probably out of there based off the, de the defender. So things like that. It just honestly, it comes with you know a lot of overtime reps and playing and just getting the feel of the game. 
What, what do you think Notre Dame's mindset's going to be, Marcus, coming off that big 16 to 14 loss? Probably, uh, probably pretty angry, pretty upset, locked in. Yeah, that's what I would be.